To understand economics is not an easy job. The specific terminologies and the complexity of the subject usually scares people away. But the Museum of American Finance is a good place to start for those who really want to know more about the history and functionality of the economy. The Museum of American Finance is the only one of this kind in the country. The museum offers permanent and rotated exhibits, promote events and also has its own publications. The museum was created after the economic crash in 1987. The goal is to preserve and exhibit American financial history. I think a lot of what attracts people to the museum is um, they'd like to get a sense of what finance is, what finance means in America, because you come down to Wall Street, you can see the stock exchange, you hear about it on the news all the time, but what exactly does that mean? So I think we do a good job of making it easy to understand, making it a little bit fun, and it's just kind of an introduction to the world of finance. I think it's important for people to understand finance um, in order so they understand how the whole financial system works. Um, if you don't understand what credit is, you might define fault in your credit card um, and, and that has huge implications for people. If you don't understand how the stock market works, you're probably unlikely to invest. Um, so it's important that people understand the history to understand where we got to today so they may be able to better handle their own finances. The museum has a center for financial education. In this program, students can attend lectures. They can also have classes inside the museum or come with their school for special guided tours. I think that most people don't even know the history about like the Wall Street, so if they come here they might learn. If you come here you can understand the reasons why our stocks are going up and down, you understand the history of it. We've just started this fall our, the Museum Finance Academy, which is an academy for 11th and 12th graders. It's free to them um, and they come once a week, it's for 10 weeks, and they get kind of a primer on financial literacy, which you can't get in schools these days. Um, the basics of personal finance, a little bit about the economy and how that works. They get to go on field trips, they can go to the stock exchange, the Federal Reserve, so there's a lot of exciting opportunities. Today, the museum offers three different exhibits. The most recently added is Checks and Balances, Presidents and American Finance. In this exhibit, visitors can track the economic evolution of the U.S. through the history of some of the most well-known American presidents. We kind of focused on the faces that you see every day in your wallet. Um, so a lot of it we started with the people on money. So we have the one, uh, George Washington, the five, Abraham Lincoln, um, Jackson's on the 20. And then we did Wilson because he's on the $100,000 bill, which we were able to display. We got um, on loan from the Federal Reserve, so that was a great opportunity. Um, and then FDR is in everyone's wallet in their coin purse. So we just picked some of the larger names that we thought people might recognize and kind of engage with a little bit more. We have quite a few objects um, in each case that has a signature or belong to the president. We have a couple of ledger books that represent the personal finances of the president. This exhibit is just a glimpse of what you can find in the museum. If you want to see more, the Museum of American Finance is located on the corner of William and Wall Streets and is open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Michelle de Seja, NYFA News, New York.